Some enter politics to be someone, others to do something. And it would seem Lord Trimble was a man who was only interested in what was doable, even when it came at a significant personal cost. And what a legacy he left. A Nobel laureate with a quarter century of peace in his wake. A man who risked his political career and the safety of his family to deliver a once improbable agreement that ushered in a new era of stability following decades of bloody conflict in Northern Ireland. Today, you will read and hear a lot about this man and his life's work, quite right too. But you should have been reading and hearing about his work over the past few years as well, for he did not stop fighting for Northern Ireland until the end. Many current and former politicians and commentators are extolling Trimble's virtue as an architect of the Good Friday Agreement. But where were they when the same man, with intimate knowledge of the treaty his own hands wrote, warned that the fragile structure upon which the end to 35 years of bloodshed was built was at risk from Brussels' cynical politicking over the Northern Irish border. Far from keeping the peace, the protocol risks a return to violence. His words, not mine, written just over six months ago. I feel betrayed personally by the Northern Ireland Protocol. And it's also why the unionist population is so incensed at its imposition, wrote Lord Trimble, as he judicially challenged the cynical agreement designed to deliberately hurt Britain, even if it meant inflaming historic unrest that had already taken well over a thousand lives. The protocol rips out the very heart of the agreement. It demolishes its central premise, Trimble writes. The sad fact is that the threat to peace and economic prosperity in Northern Ireland is totally unnecessary, he said. The EU has nothing to fear from the minuscule level of trade that crosses into its territory from Northern Ireland. And even that trade could be regulated without any need for checks on the border. Is the European Union intent on playing fast and loose with peace in Northern Ireland in order to punish the United Kingdom for voting for its independence from the European Union, a question asked by Lord Trimble, and the answer he knew very well was yes. And yet for a man so venerated on his passing, for those to whom his truths were an inconvenience, he was willfully ignored, just when we needed him most.